today we have Dr. Ulrich Klotz from FDM, head of department, mm -hmm. leading scientist in the world when it comes to platinum alloys. In some of the markets, we work a lot with platinum copper. Mm -hmm. And only recently we've been tampering with it, adding a bit of cobalt to increase the flow or adding a bit of gallium indium to increase the hardness. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions of compositions or tertiary elements or other things we can look at it for casting purposes or even machining? Well, there are many different uh, alloys on the market. Most of the alloys are binary alloys mm. based on platinum copper, platinum cobalt, ruthenium and so on. Mm. Then there are only very few alloys with additional alloying elements. These are most alloys that contain gallium, indium, and these elements are added to increase the hardness, especially uh, when casting. Uh, they allow so-called age hardening of the alloys. And uh, now it depends uh, what your goals are. If you want to achieve higher hardness after casting, then the addition of gallium or indium is beneficial. But on the other hand, you have to take care for reactions uh, that can uh, deteriorate the properties. So what we found is that additions of gallium or indium often result in, in higher porosity, porosity after casting. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit a trade-off uh, that you have to do. It probably also requires uh, some testing of different alloys for the different purposes. Well, what we have tested and what I presented at the Santa Fe Symposium a few years ago was the addition of cobalt to platinum ruthenium. And you need only small amounts of uh, cobalt and this improved the castability of platinum ruthenium a lot. And the alloy got uh, a fine grain structure and um, quite good properties. So far as I know, this has not been used, uh, but this, I think, is, would be interesting to mm -hmm. test. Adding the cobalt would increase, increase the flow, reduce the temp melting temperature? Uh, it, yes, it yeah. reduces the melting temperature and it changes the way the, the alloy solidifies. Yeah. By this, you can await the micro-shrinkage porosity, which is really common in platinum ruthenium. Right. And it only requires yeah, little amounts of cobalt to change that and then you can cast these alloys without microporosity. And the benefit compared to platinum cobalt is the alloy is still non-magnetic. Yeah. And it's, uh, it has a finer grain structure like platinum cobalt, which tends to have a coarse grain structure. You showed me a really cool picture yesterday mm -hmm. um, of bouncing rings and watches and also a ring that flexes both ways. And yeah. I understand it's something called amorphous metal, which is not commonly done in jewelry. No, no. So is that something that's widely used in industrial purposes? Well, uh, we are talking about a new class of materials, so-called amorphous metals or bulk metallic glasses. Mm. And they have a very special um, microstructure. They're actually a frozen liquid and therefore they behave very different. So they have very high elasticity, they're usually very hard, and they have a very low melting point. Such alloys are starting to be commercialized with zirconia-based alloys, but they're also alloys based on palladium, platinum, or gold. Mm. We have some research work going on at the University of Saarland in Germany. We are developing new platinum-based alloys and test their properties one of them is their extremely high elasticity. Mm. So this makes uh, this ball bouncing like a rubber ball, or you can bend the ring very heavily without plastic pla deformation. Okay. Yeah. So we would be able to take these properties to create new, unique experiences in jewelry because the, the metal mm -hmm. now is harder and it also has the elasticity. Between. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, and that's possible with platinum? Is that's that a possible 950 with platinum. Or? Unfortunately, no 950, but 850. That still possible. works for us, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> You're welcome.